What is this? It's the message from Zero. It was in the safe in the first class cabin. Give me a break! That paper is a lie! Someone is trying to frame me! It can't have been a lie! It has to be the truth because the code was connected to our bracelets. Me. Oh. You said me, right? <gasps> Wouldn't that mean you're admitting you're Hongul, the CEO of Cradle Pharmaceuticals? <laughs> oh no! Well, I'm mistaken. <laughs> Very well. I admit that much. I am certainly the CEO of Cradle Pharmaceutical, Gentaro Hongo. Nice. So what if I am? Nice. I don't know anything about this nonary game that supposedly took place nine years ago. Everything on that scrap of paper is bullshit. <laughs> so far, so far, it sounds like you just admitted that everything on that scrap of paper is completely truthful. Someone is trying to set me up, you see? <sighs> I'm being framed, you see? First of all. First, look, just listen, listen. Junpei, you're claiming I did this all by myself. Uh-oh. Oh, Ace. Oh, sweet baby Ace. Do not suggest you are about to incriminate everyone else that you work with who is in this game with us right now. That is a very quick way to the grave. Oh, Ace. Precious, precious Ace. So simple. Doesn't got a doesn't got a single sense of wit in his body, does he? Think that over, all right? <sighs> How could I have killed Snake all by myself? Not Snake. It was Guy X. Yeah. Who did you kill? I don't care who it was. You said the killer <laughs> put this other man into door three, right? Yeah, maybe. Then I couldn't have possibly done that alone. I couldn't have opened door three with only myself and Guy X. Nope. You could have. Nine. Plus one is ten. Plus two with snake is thirteen. <gasps> is 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 twelve, which makes digital root three. <laughs> huh? Ha! Actually, Ace, when you were unconscious, I took something from you. Remember when you were injected with that anesthetic and fell asleep in the big hospital room? Yeah, back then, I took this. No, you couldn't have. Wait, what did we take of his? I got you, Ace. Your right hand there tells me all I needed to know. <laughs> Ace, stop falling for Junpei pulling shit on you. Want you. To tell me what you were so worried about? What's in your pocket? <clears throat> it's the number nine bracelet, isn't it? <clears throat> Ace, Guy X, and the ninth man's bracelet. That was all you needed to open door three. That's how you killed Guy X all by yourself, Ace. All you needed was the number nine bracelet in your chest pocket. Okay. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We got a new idea here. Guy X is Snake. Is the number two guy who was uh, the, the, like, the person all along. But what if that person's Snake, Guy X is not actually the snake that we've known this whole time and is actually like a body double is some kind of like just a different person that clover mistook or took as her brother does that add up does that make the left arm thing make sense and everything else line up i don't think so mm, now that i've said it out loud i don't think guy x could not be s snake hmm hmm <laughs> hmm okay This is not going to go well. If you want to play innocent, that's fine by me. Go ahead, tell me. I don't have the bracelet, if that's what you want to do. But if you could take off your coat and hand it to me, I'd really appreciate it. Otherwise, we'll have to take it from you by force. Right, Seven? Don't implicate Seven. I don't know what Team Seven's on right here. Yeah, it'd be my pleasure. Oh. <laughs> Oh, here it goes. Oh, here it goes. Now, here's a little thing. Here's a little thing I don't think anyone's thought about, Junpei. Uh, hey, buddy, we still gotta live with the guy. 
we can incriminate Ace all night long until the hours are up. But we all still got to get out of here through the nine door. And that might mean we need Ace to do that. I haven't run the numbers. Maybe we don't need Ace. Maybe we can just kill him here as a, and, and like try him for murder. But I don't think that's the case. <laughs> as you so correctly deduced, I have the number nine bracelet. I don't, you have to, have to be a weirdo about I it though. I retrieved it while we were searching for the missing hardware for the red. I left the room I was supposed to search and headed to the first class cabin on B-Deck. Yup. My purpose was to obtain the number nine bracelet. Nine is a potent ally in the nonary game. Is it? Adding nine to any set of numbers won't alter the digital route. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, yes. As you can see, nine is a very useful number here. It's an extra person. It's like having an extra life on With you. It, one can go anywhere. With anyone. It is, I suppose you could say. A okay. Game okay, I'm down with the idea of making number nine like this real cool to have accessory <laughs> and and battery in this case. So I made for the first class cabin in mere moments. Okay. I successfully Yoink. acquired the number nine bracelet. There was also an unexpected bonus. The knife the ninth man had used. Oh, that's right. Both of them and left. Oh, I totally forgot about the knife that he had. That's when I ran How did we forget that? How did I forget that? We could have been keeping track of like, hey, suddenly there's a weapon on this ship. Maybe I should have. Hey, Solon, maybe you should have kept track of where that weapon was, buddy. Well, this guy oh. actually. I spotted him ahead of me. He was heading for the large hospital room and had noticed me. So you just zip, zip, zip. The man wearing Snake's clothes arrived at door three. When he stopped, I walked up behind him and called out, Snake. He turned around. He said nothing. His mouth simply hung half open. He seemed dazed somehow, almost like a man half asleep. What? What? It wasn't important. Oh no! I tend to gloss over little things like that. Ace? No, <laughs> you do tend to gloss over a lot of little I things. I was certain that man was Snake. I knew Snake had taken part in the Nonary game nine years ago. Being blind, it made sense that he didn't recognize me immediately upon our first meeting. But why then hadn't Snake said anything to me later? Surely he hadn't forgotten what had happened to him in the Nonary game. A lot of us forgot about a lot of things, it sounded like. Once did he attempt to confront me? Did his lack of sight prevent him from fully recognizing who I was? Oh no. Perhaps Snake had conspired with Zero to deceive me. Regardless, he was a threat, and it was better to deal with him sooner rather than later. I had to get rid of him before he took action. <laughs> he did you though? <laughs> Buddy, we're all dying out here. <laughs> with quick thinking, my plan went into motion immediately. <sighs> held the number nine bracelet that means that Snake there. survived the first nonary game, which that's that's cool. That's neat. I waved my own bracelet in front of the red, and then grabbed Snake. Okay. The door opened. I threw the man through it. <laughs> nine seconds later, the door shut. Eighty-one seconds passed. Oh, that's so gross. After that, I returned to my post as though nothing had happened. After conducting my own search, I returned to the large hospital room when the wow, AM bell quick went. work. <sighs> Ace, did you kill Clover? Yes. Why? Why did you kill her? She was Snake's sister. Buddy. It was possible he had told her something dangerous. Additionally, she had gone through door one. It seemed likely she might have found it. Found what? Why don't you go through door one yourself? Oh, no. Perhaps it's hidden somewhere. Yeah, but Lotus and I went through door one, too. We didn't see anything suspicious. Yes. I thought as much after I heard your report at the central stairs. 
I doubt the two of you could find it. But is it is it something small, something hidden? But perhaps Clover was different. Perhaps she had found it. I was therefore desperate to find her, and at last I did. In the first class cabin. Why was she in the first class I cabin then? Very calmly. Did you, Did you see, see it? it? See what? Don't act as if you don't understand. You were in the captain's quarters, weren't you? Uh huh. What are you talking about? Hmm. Very well. <sighs> By the way, what are you doing here, Clover? What? Uh, nothing. This is where the note came from. This is where the note in her hand is from. Blood on your shoes. It looks fresh. Oh, she was doing something spooky. Did you go take a look at the ninth man's corpse? I see. Your silence suggests that you noticed. You saw something, didn't you? You saw that his bracelet was gone. No! You aren't going anywhere. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, Ace. You're staying here. No! <laughs> Don't you run, little girl. Gross. Gross, dude, gross. Hmm. Ace. You've been a gentleman up to this point. That was how I killed Clover. But nope. Now you're a homicidal douchebag. You son of a bitch! You kill blind men and little girls. <laughs> Ju June. You got some weird secrets too. I don't I don't know, man. I admit it. I've lost. I have lost. Completely and utterly. Don't misunderstand, Junpei. I didn't lose to you. I lost to zero. I'm Not fine with that. That's fine. I don't care who won. I'm Nobody's... <laughs> this is a zero-sum game? The, a there are no winners here? I look the fool. And it was a trap. Make no mistake. I was trapped and manipulated by zero. The man I killed in the shower room? If he wasn't Snake, then I have no idea who he was. But he was wearing Snake's clothes. And that was no coincidence. He had also... Oh, no. And we can't forget the components that were removed from the red before we arrived. I have no doubt that Zero planned all of this. Zero made sure I would kill that man. Mmm, you didn't have to, though. That Zero knew everything I would do. That I would try to take the number nine bracelet. That I would try to kill Snake. Everything. <sighs> I must punish them. Buddy, don't. <laughs> oh, wait, this is what Zero said. I thought I thought Junpei in his head's like, I must punish them now. This is the only warning they will receive that innocent souls might be saved. I now state the truth. I think Zero is one of us. Okay. Yep. What about Clover, though? Zero is one of us. No, the message got passed to Clover. That's how she she got the no, the little missive. Right. There's one more person. Snake, the man who died in the shower mm -hmm. is in Snake. So is that person Zero? That means he's almost certainly still alive. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Zero. Maybe he made Guy X wear his clothes so that we'd all think he was dead. Hmm. Where's Snake now? What if he's off somewhere laughing at us? <laughs> if he is Zero, he must have been lying to us about everything else. Is he watching us? I don't even know. I don't even know. Oh, that's so good. Well. I believe I've finished with my confession. Why don't we get moving? You know what? That's a great idea. Why don't we get moving? How about we take a break here? We've done a lot of stuff today. 
today. <laughs> and we put a lot of pieces together. All of our questions have been answered. And I, we got our confession. We got the confession that we were looking for. We got exactly the confession. Now, what does that mean for our end game? I don't know. I don't know. We still all have to go through these doors together. We still all have to survive. <laughs> but, excuse me, hiccups. Like, yeah, where does this put us? Where does this leave us? We now have a double homicidal maniac. Does that mean there's two maniacs? No. Ace killed two people, and we have to now continue playing this game with him. And uh, Ace is just like, well, I'm a murderer. Why don't we get moving? We're going to get stabbed in the ass by Ace. Ace is ass stabbing. And God, I can't believe he killed a little girl and he killed a blind dude. That's what his goal was. His intention was to kill a blind dude and a little girl. Oh, and I don't know where that leaves everyone else either. That's the bigger mystery to me is what does everyone else have to do with this? Because someone tipped off Clover and it was not Snake and it was not Ace. Well, I mean, it could have been Snake, but it wasn't It wasn't Guy X. It wasn't number two. And it wasn't Ace. And it wasn't any of the people that were with us. So where does that leave us? I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot more that has to be played before we get those answers. Uh, thank you for being with us. This is just so exciting. This is so exciting. Every time we play, it's like, what? Here we are. We're at the end of everything, but the end is just going to keep continuing while we just keep getting like denser and denser little story bits through this whole thing. I love you guys very much. I'll see you next time for more 999, for more of the Nonary Games, for more murder, and for more love. Good night and good luck. <laughs>